Welcome to the PPVG Gamescast. My name is Steve. Rich. Mo. We are the Passionate Playing Video Gamers. In today's episode, we want to give our strategies to the E3 2017 press conferences. If we were running things, we'll let you know what we would do for each of the five companies. Also talk about the South Park new announced release date. We'll see if this one sticks or not. Is that the truth? That's damn true, yes. It is the truth. We'll also talk about Red Dead Redemption 2 being delayed. Talk about when we think that might be released. But we will start off with Mo's favorite, Destiny 2. Released new gameplay footage last week. And first impressions. Mo, you are the Destiny master. What were your first impressions? <laughs> Destiny master. <laughs> Try to master my own destiny. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the married man has to do. Some bitch, it won't come off. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, he meant the ring. I, I just saw the motion. And just, <laughs> um, Don't worry, you'll get it off sometime. <laughs> Maybe spit on it. If you spit on it, that might help. Oh, okay. I don't even know where to start to tell you the <laughs> truth, but that's a good start right there. <laughs> Spitting um, on it? Yeah, speaking yeah. of being jerked off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. yeah how much have you been jerked off around uh, with Destiny? Good enough. The and, one who bought all and, the DLCs. And it's not a stripper either. Not so. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. <And> okay. <laughs> Relax. A um, stripper named Destiny. Yeah, right. No, she uh, <laughs> she's a wild one. Sell those bite marks. <laughs> How is your DLC? She... <laughs> I don't know. Where it was the gameplay it. not very good? No, I just <laughs> so to be piss poor graphics. It's better in multiplayer. Better <laughs> actually. You know, I, I've actually thought about this. I'm actually take a, a page out of Rich's book here, and and no, no. Uh-oh. Hear me out. Hear me I out. don't know where this is going. So, hear me out. So. When we talk about consoles, we Rich has brought up the point of, of a car, whether you have a Maserati or a car, but as long as it takes you further. Destiny is kind of like that car that we've had for years, and they're just putting a fucking fresh coat of paint, and how far will that fucking take you? That's how I feel. It's, the, it's gameplay. The gameplay remains the same. The, the guns, yeah, they brought in some new guns, some new exotics. But it's just a fresh coat of paint. It's just that's all they're doing. Yeah, they didn't the, tune the engine. The, and the new powers it. is stuff that has already been done in the first game with the DLCs and even beyond that. Like the, for instance, the hunter uh, new power is a staff that's electrical. Okay, and he moves around all fast. That's the first power from the first Destiny. It's called the arc blade, which you just use a knife instead of a fucking staff. It's just a little clear coat of paint. That's all it is. So I understand that the. People now are um, arguing. Oh well, this is what Destiny One should have been. So why the fuck are you calling it Destiny Two? <laughs> like, why should it even be considered a, a second game then? It should just be like, oh, Destiny remade. <laughs> well, Call of Duty set the success. You don't need something brand new and still the top selling game. But they, every but they year. still have taken. The only thing about that I can argue with Call of Duty is that they take you to different settings, and it doesn't all look the fucking same as far as the world. Okay, yeah, the online multiplayer. Fair enough. Okay, the online multiplayer they do include from previous maps the maps that were the most famous, which is okay, smart. People like those maps. Why not keep them in? Throw them in there for them. But Destiny. Yeah, they're going to take you to this new world, but it kind of already looks... We've already fought the Cabal. We've already done that. They're going to bring some of the... Some, you're, you're taking the fight to the tower. Everybody's already seen the tower because it was the socializing place. Now you get to fight in it. Okay. Like, I'm just not sold. Um, it's, 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 like I said, it's a clear coat of paint. But how long it, until that car dies on you? The mileage is done. Because you're not getting a new engine. Saying it needs an oil change? You're not getting a new engine. You're not even getting an oil change. You know, that's that's where I'm going with it. Yeah, and they gave you new tires for the car, but they were still used tires. Yeah, they're, they're still even, used tires. They're not even, like, brand new, fresh tires. And the, the thing is with me is, you know, I will get into more because you still got more to explain for, for Destiny. But um, I just, that's how I feel right now that it's pushed me off that I am actually not pre-ordering because I've already played this game. I've already seen those mechanics. I've already done all these mechanics. I'm good. I will hold off 
until all the DLCs come out and it's a $25 bin. <laughs> And Mo, it sounds like you're really excited for the sequel, that the gameplay footage really got you amped up. And are you going to pre-order Destiny 2? No. And you've bought every single DLC, is that correct? Yep, I've had every single How many one. has it been? Three of them? No, four. Four DLCs? Yes. Yeah. Four DLCs and the game. So Des Bungie released the first gameplay reveal trailer. So we actually saw some gameplay, because a few weeks ago they actually showed just a cinematic trailer. They showed a seven-minute story mission called Homecoming. So we got some of the story. They showed the Countdown Crucible gameplay and the Inverted Spire Spike, which is on Nessus, the planet. And I actually watched the Homecoming trailer for the story mission. And I've only played the game. I only went to level 21. I got one level of light and said this is bullshit. And so I played it for like the first two weeks, beat it, got to level 20, beat the so-called story to the game and got to and then stopped. Once I found out I had to grind, do the same thing over and over again, I'm not a grinder, not on video games, then I, I stopped. And Rich, was that the same case with you? Yeah, with I didn't your... get that far. I gave up before that because there was just nothing compelling to it. There was no story. So you, you didn't make it to, to level 20? I think I got to 20, but I don't think I got my first level of light. I remember going, no, I'm not going to just be on patrol forever. So I think I had kind of given up. And then, so you weren't even thinking of getting no. the, the sequel? No. And then, Mo, you were big on board. What about Heather? Uh, she actually said no as well. She's not getting... Uh, no, she didn't just say no. Well, she said, fuck no, this is the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> Why the fuck am I going to spend 60 to to $100? Because in truth... You know, I don't. They like to include the whole uh, silver buying stuff and on top season of season pass kind of mentality. yeah and all that. Yeah. So she goes, "Why am I going to spend a hundred dollars now when later on it's going to go for cheaper like they did with the whole packaging and yeah, you'll get a game of the year edition. Yeah, and then it includes all the DLC. DLCs. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna wait. We're not gonna. We're not pre-ordering. It's not something that's on our radar right now. Um, we have a speculation of something that may be on our radar for E three. That I that we were kind of discussing, um, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> All right, give me a little tease, a little tease. And Destiny Two is set to release on September eighth of this year on Xbox One and PS Four, and later on on PC. So the changes, the changes that they made for Destiny Two, is the single player. They added new subclasses and a new director which is the in-game map and activity selector, the one who actually take you around. Who was it in the first one? What was the main? Uh, it was the, the ghost. The, yeah, pretty much. Um, but you also had like, um, God, I don't remember if it's, his name is the speaker or the seeker or whatever the hell his name was. Oh, the guys from the talent? Yeah, mm -hmm. the, that he would like tell you. Now you have um, the the... The warlock, which I forget her name is, I think it's Novella and um, uh, Cade, who is the hunter, <clears throat> and you have That's the uh, funny one from the yeah, the funny one. Okay, and then the Titan, who I believe is Captain Savala, is his name. Sounds right. Yeah. So those those three will be guiding you through your missions, as what from what I've read on on the. I don't remember any of. The characters. I don't remember much yeah, they didn't really about Destiny. Yeah. The one thing I do remember is the bosses were sponges. How many bullets? Oh, that's not I had to Unload. That's not changing in the gameplay. I saw that. It was like yeah. super sponge. The game. Yeah. Uh, the director uh, will be your guide visiting four major new locations, such as the European Dead Zone, which is a lush forest and caves, Saturn Moon of Titan, a methane ocean. Nessus, which is overrun by Vex, and the Jupiter moon of Io, uncover the secrets left behind by the travelers who visited three centuries earlier, which is what they've shown so far about the single player campaign. And if you've been watching the previous episodes, at least once an episode, I always try and say, fuck Destiny. Because there's so much hype. It was Bungie, creators behind Halo, brought the excitement, the hype, and to be so let down. But again, trying to understand that's, that wasn't my type of game. I guess I was naive of what the game actually was. But I'm actually planning to pick up Destiny 2 on day one. 
picking up on the first day just so I could say I played it. And once again, I can say, fuck Destiny. And okay. it will be worth the $60 of <laughs> a purchase. You guys will come over. We will play it. And we'll say it together. Fuck Destiny. But taking that out of the way, it actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> he says, come over and played it. And I was like, I've already been there, done that, bro. <laughs> Did it for fucking years. I'm good. <laughs> uh, maybe it's because I haven't played any of the DLCs. I haven't been playing it. Yeah, they, they uh, I know that they're including like a shit ton of cinematics. And they didn't start including cinematics into the f- probably the third DLC. I want to kind of put that out there. They included some in the first two, but they were very... Small, tiny cutscenes just to get the like the introduction. That's all it really was. Um, but after that, the third and the fourth DLC, they started okay. Let's put some cinematics in there. People are getting tired of the the grimoires or whatever. The nobody's gonna go online to read a fucking book just to play a fucking game to understand what the hell is going on. It's just too much. Doing too much. And Bungie did announce that they're no longer doing the cards. Which what what are they called, Rich? Grimoire. Yeah. Those cards no longer doing as they did for Destiny. You had to go on the website to see what the story was. Yeah. So they're actually going to put the story into the game. Weird concept. How that works. That's because <laughs> they fired the writing staff on the first game. Yeah. If they had basically built the game and then the higher up said, no, no, we're going to do the story. We don't need you. And they cut them and all that stuff was kind of prepped and was in files and that was easy to update the website with but they couldn't put it in the game because you have to make cinematics and you know, dialogue sequences and stuff like that. Whereas when you write like a series Bible, you can easily take a paragraph that's about this enemy type and you put it there and then they just had the link to, oh, this is the hyperlink when you, you find this card in the game. And that's... Which is kind of funny to me too. Um, when you were mentioning all the all the new worlds that they're putting in, all those worlds were mentioned in the first game. Uh, they talked like specifics about it, like, oh, the, ne- the Nexus, that's... We visited that world a, a couple of times in the first one, if anyone actually paid fucking attention. But we did. That that world's already been in there a few times. Uh, that wasn't in the very first. It was like on the second or third DLC, if I can remember right. But um, It, it just, all looks the same, right? It's hard to get them all Just throwing that up. out there. Yeah, it's just a fresh coat of paint. That's all it is. Just with the first Destiny, there are some parts I really enjoyed about it. That I was very surprised. So that's why I want to give it a second chance. I loved um, the bounties. I thought that was a really cool idea. Where you go and get a bounty. So when I'm in the single player, you know, I get experience points for hunting down. I actually went out of my way to try and hunt, you know, certain... Like sub-bosses. Yeah, the yeah. sub-bosses yeah. down. And I really enjoyed that part uh, more than I thought. I enjoyed the actual gameplay the the shooting mechanics which i knew i would i, I would love cuz it's bungie they know how to make a first person shooter i'm with rich the story was lack of story yeah, there, was there there was nothing there to keep me going and i'm not a grinder so that's always happened out there's a lot that i really liked and a lot that i didn't like and just the grinding was enough well, like i'm not going to do it let's be honest the, the grinding's not going to go away that's gonna stay in the game. That was one of the keynotes of the game. They, they're not gonna get rid of that. That's I mean, keep so many people playing. Right? Yeah, no, absolutely. That's, that's what the raids are for. They're a bunch of grinding, and uh, to uh, hopefully they fixed um, um, the whole matchmaking for raids. I hope they do because I did not have time to go and look for a, a fire team of six to to you know figure it. Figure it all out. I'm, I didn't have that time. No, I know the grinding won't change. That is a part of the game, but I'm going to play for the single player. I, yeah. I do not play multiplayer, and we'll get into the multiplayer aspect of Destiny soon. But same with any of the first-person shooters. I'm, I play a few rounds, but I usually just play for the single-player campaign. That's what I'm doing for Destiny. See if it has improved with the story. Because mm-hmm. um, I haven't bought any of the DLCs, so it'll pretty much be fresh. Again, if it doesn't look like new game, it'll pretty much be new to me i played it for the first two weeks it was released um so that's why i i am gonna pick it up see what has changed it looks fun i actually really enjoyed that seven minute trailer for the homecoming uh story mission that they showed what do you think of the strategy rich that they how are they really they released a gameplay reveal trailer and then the seven minute story and then they showed the crucible and then they showed a raid uh I think that that's them making the same mistake Microsoft did with that first Xbox One 
uh, press conference where they're trying to be all things to all people of their customer base. And they're missing the fact that they had already kind of, they already had a flawed idea from the beginning. So it doesn't matter that you have something for every one of those groups. If it's not, you know, that specific thing that that group needs above anything else, you're, you're missing the thing. I don't think multiplayer, those people are getting catered to. The story people are not getting catered to. This is better along those lines, at least for the storyline aspect, because like you, I don't play multiplayer. But it still doesn't mean it's going to be a good or fleshed out story. In comparison, it'll seem that way. But is it still going to be on the level of The Last of Us or Mass Effect? You know, is it going to be? I don't know if you can really compare. No, but that's what they're trying to convince you because they're trying to they're trying to say to guys like you and me that are Mass Effect fans, come back. You don't have to be multiplayer. We got something for you too. Do you? That's what I'm doing. I'm giving it a chance, and I do apologize. Not a raid, a strike. Um, so the inverted uh, spire strike, not raid. So that is a strike that they did show. So they showed a little bit of everything that uh, th- that they do plan to have on the game. Get this chance. They do have a big task ahead of themselves and over the summer of how to convince the people like me. Obviously, it looked like it convinced me. I'm planning to buy it. That's just because I really get pissed off about people who talk shit about something that have not experienced it. So now I'm going to... Purchase Destiny 2, it'll be worth my 60 bucks, just in case I hate it, just so I can talk shit about it. But it'll be worth it, if it was. How much Destiny put a sour taste, but I'm going to give it a second chance. Looks intriguing, but we will see what happens. Again, that's a single player, but Destiny was built on the multiplayer, again with the raid. So multiplayer made some changes. So in the first game, they did three versus three. And six versus six. Now in Destiny 2, it's going to be four versus four. So I got my ass kicked in the Crucible. I only played a few rounds. I got owned and destroyed. And then I put it up. It, it's been collecting dust. Mo, how has your experience been in the Crucible? I know you and Heather played a lot. Yeah, I I was big Crucible. Like, that was my fun for it. Like, coming home day after day, if I was stressed out at work, that was I was going to go kill people. And uh, not to brag. In game. In game. In game. <laughs> in game. In game. <laughs> in game. In game. Yeah. I sense um, much anger inside you, Mo. No, I mean, that's just what we did. And then that was like, you know, when, when Heather and I had our days off, we would go in Crucible and we'd rack some people together. That it was, was called just, Destiny Mondays. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but um, I don't like the four versus four. And um, one of the reasons being is if you're a new player, when they had six versus six on capture, like, uh, they had like a thing called capture. It wasn't really a flag, um, but it was more like um, uh, capture these these like A, B, and C these these certain positions. When you capture them, you you get points like that. It oh, was like nodes, like, yeah, like, like nodes, the, yeah, the yeah, quarter nodes, yeah. Okay. Um, um, but or capture the zone. That's what it, that's what it was called, zoning. So basically, that was six versus six. In, in Out of the six players, there would always be one or two players that were pretty terrible and the other four were... I'm sem- one of those guys. Well, semi-decent. But you got to remember, that was a way for those two, two, those two players that were just not that good to learn the strategies and the games from the other players. Because, yeah. you know, that, that was that. For four versus four, people who already played on our veterans from Destiny 1 are going to get pissed off at that one player that does not complete that team. Yeah. This guy. And and that's that's why I say leave the six versus six in there. Well, because, you know, it, it helps. It kind of helps. There's, there's three primary classes and then three secondaries, right? Oh. So three and six would make sense to, to kind of have an yeah. all-around kind of squad. Yeah. Four is automatically thrown that off and you True. don't have a way to fix so it. So I think it's just weird. And the three versus three. Yeah, what was that? That, that sounds intense. The, the three versus three, that was uh, super competitive. You wouldn't even step inside there until you got your shit together. Like once you had your, your armor based, you had your guns, you had uh, the specific guns that you already learned and you already know how to use. And we know that you're a specialist at those guns. That's the only time you would step into three versus three. You just don't do it. <laughs> and if you were that level player, that was where yeah. they, the advertising, they'd have the yeah. app and you would be and you would coordinating to, with your friends. I'm off squad. at five, yeah. and so 5.15, we're going live exactly. on the server. And, exactly. But that, none of that stuff ever happened. Yeah, but that I mean, that's when you already had your set squad, your squad of three people that you know, that you coordinate really good, and you go into there. That, that, the four versus four, I think it's gonna not going to go in the favor. That's just me, though. Um, I feel with you trying to capture a new fan base... 
you should keep it six versus six, uh, just on the crucible side. I think that's that's respectable and enough for somebody to go in and actually learn what 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 it is, what crucible is, because there's a whole different set of rules for each crucible. Did people have problems filling out those teams, or was there enough people no. on that you could always get six? Versus six? Surprisingly, like it was always six versus six. Sometimes if somebody would get frustrated and get owned a lot. Um, and wouldn't stick to the team, they would just, you know, dip out. But if you have good four players, you can easily dominate a team of six. You know, uh, I've done it plenty of times. Um, but, you know, I was always that one player that I would encourage the, the new the new casual players. Aww, that'd be like, hey, so man, sweet. don't give up. Just you got to learn your guns, <laughs> and once you get it. Thanks, coach. You, yeah. Hey, you're part of my team. I want you to win. I'm not going to go and, like, shit talk to you. But there's a lot of toxic players out there. Got to remember that. So I'm not I'm not a toxic player at all. I, I give people chances if they fucking up and they're lagging. I'm like, bro, you're kind of killing us right here with this whole lag thing. Um, but you know, it is what it is. That just I, I think the four versus four is not the way to go for that. But you know, to each their own. We'll see. Anything you guys would like to add about Destiny? So I know Mo, you've had a lot building up. You know. I don't. I don't want to trash Destiny so much. Uh, the 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 first the first uh, entirety of the game, the first level one to twenty, and then the first two DLCs, they were a little hard to come through. Um, once they ha- got into the third, they started doing um, pretty notable stuff. Um, and I'll give you an example. There was a stage where it was a uh, it was one of your dailies to do, and if you did it with a group, it, at the end of the daily, nobody knew about this. Once you, once you finish a daily, you can go back and do it again. But if you take a different route, it took you to another setting and another story. And at the end of that, if you were able to complete that, you would get a, a powerful exotic sniper, which was rewarding. That type of stuff, I applauded because they started changing kind of the script on that. That was great stuff. Because you played that, that particular storyline mission already, and you're like, oh, nothing's new. But then you started hearing, hey, you know you can get an exotic sniper, and if you take this separate route, it's just kind of like a little secret. If you if you take it, then you're going to get a super cool sniper. That stuff, that type of stuff, when they started throwing that stuff in, uh, it, that's why it kept getting me involved. They started, okay, I got something to look forward to. I'm going to go get that sniper. We need a good team. Get the team together and go for it. You know. So hopefully they... They put that type of stuff into Destiny 2 because I'd like to see that, you know. I'd like to see people talking about their secrets and like, oh, shit, I got this super cool exotic from doing this and this and this. That type of stuff I appreciate, you know. But a lot of the same stuff also kind of ran it to the ground. And so I'm kind of afraid of that happening to Destiny 2. It's the same rerun over and over and over again. I got bored. That's it. Of grinding, absolutely. Of grinding, yeah. yeah it was the grind. It, it killed me. Well, and it's all so random, too. Yeah. You could grind for hours and hours and hours, and you still might not get the gun you needed. Yeah, exactly. So. Exactly. Because, you know, I did so much grinding that I would always get, like, heavy machine guns. I don't use them. I, I really don't. I used my main, my main, and the, the sub. That's it. Oh, and if you would have switched, though, that's when you yeah. would have got a sniper rifle. Yeah, that's when I would have. Yeah, exactly. That's how, that's what they would do. So, I, But that's I, just my notes. No, I have faith that they'll rebound with the story because, you know, with Halo franchise, that had a lot of lore, had a lot of background. I know there's a lot of novels in the back, but in the game, they actually had that story mm-hmm. as well. Um, some of it was incoherent. In the second one, a little bit went kind of weird. Yeah. That plant. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're talking about, too. That's I was like, funny. what the fuck am I seeing right now? <laughs> the leader of the flood. I don't know what the Yeah. That's sure. How they, that's how they survive. I, <laughs> I don't know why you don't get that. But at, as of now, a little upset that it will not be coming to Nintendo Switch. Wanted to play Destiny 2 in the park, but I guess... Wasn't that a rumor, too? I'll get it. The, it was. Oh, basically. I knew there was no chance. Oh. It, the Switch can't <laughs> handle Wait, that Wait, was shit. that you today? At the park? No, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously, there was a fire at sunset today. Oh, was that you? Noticeable from the strip, yeah. Then Nintendo God. Switch blow up? Or? I figured, yeah, you're yeah. probably there. And yeah, at the park, my overheated Switch is or overheated. Someone was burning you hey. at the stake or something. You know what? Now you don't even have to send in your controller. Ooh. Get well, that warranty. There we go. <laughs> he still has to fix the Xbox One. Get the warranty. Yeah. 
Yeah. Either way, he's still fucked. Yeah. yeah. I'll be playing uh, VR or PlayStation until uh. end, so I have to buy a new Xbox One controller. But as of now, fuck Destiny. But I will give it a chance and see how the sequel <laughs> will be. As of now, I said as of now. It's going to be a polite, gentle fuck, but still fuck. Yeah, it will be gentle. They will more than likely be at the Sony press conference event they've had lined yeah. with Sony. So we'll we'll see more. Maybe we'll, we'll talk about this later, but do you think in E3 should they focus on the single player, multiplayer, or a little bit of both? Because right now, exactly what Rich said, they're evening out all the everything else. Like, what are we, the Crucible? We got Strikes. We got single player. They're evening it out. Is there a focus that they should be on or still do a wide I, range of the entire game? Know, for what I feel for E3, um, I know that they've been releasing a ton of videos. I'm like, I, you shouldn't have released that much. That was a you lot. You should have kind of kept it kind of under wraps to surprise people for E3 because a lot of people are expecting a lot from E3. I mean, it's E3, for fucking Christ's sake. To keep it kind of under wraps and I felt that they could have at least showed like a five minute segment of everything that like storyline crucible just a little two minute to, to each thing just say like this is what we've done this is what we're working on i think releasing everything and those videos are long some of those videos the gameplay on it i'm like holy yeah shit. the strike i'm not gonna sit there for like 20 30 minutes watching this hands video. on yeah they think they already have their customer base no. Like I said, and they will. They are. They they they, got, they do have a loyal them. fan base they that will have a pick up fan base. second one no matter what. Yeah, but somebody who's on the fence or or is brand new to the experience is not going to sit through a, an eight minute storyline trailer over here, no. and then a walkthrough of a mission that's fourteen minutes over here, and then a multiplayer twenty one minute demo over here, and then a developer conference with IGN that's thirty minutes. <laughs> there's nobody there that's like, I don't know if I want to buy this game, but I'm already going to spend ninety minutes trying to catch up on shit I have no idea exactly, about exactly and if you're already devoted then yeah that's nice but you're already gonna buy it anyway so why are they wasting their time they no, have I, your money i went rogue i'm, I'm good like <laughs> no that's that's what i'm saying though yeah. they them putting out that info yeah. actually turned you from i'm looking forward to it to now you're in the fuck destiny camp yeah yeah. They could have got your money and ran off with it, and you would have been like, oh, that was a mistake. You know, and, and don't, Destiny. Don't, don't get me wrong. This is not to deter anybody from buying it. I'm just saying this is what I see, and I don't see anything new coming to me, and I feel like they've taken a lot out of it. Um, or They haven't added enough new stuff for me to actually be sold on it. Like, I, I don't see anything huge on it. And one thing that bugs me is... They said, "Oh, we couldn't, we couldn't bring some of the old stuff back into the first one, like your sparrow." And here, long and behold, I see a fucking video, and there's a fucking sparrow in it. And you can't just put the cosmetic in there. You already did the cosmetic work for the rest of the fucking things. And you're fuck out of here. Guns don't transfer over. <laughs> yeah, no, but they like said that. whoever's a level twenty or above, some of that is it's going to transfer over. Not the, your sparrows. The care. I mean, unless they changed it now from the last I heard. No, it'll so. be the same look, but I don't think it has the same levels. So, like, if your armor had given it's called you balance, yes, whatever, but you're you need a balance. But the sparrow out. had no levels. Those those type of little minor cosmetics were just paint on top of. The I stuff think that they're all going to be destroyed. They were just there to try to exactly. harken back to the first one and go. <laughs> See, it's connected. Yeah, that's all right. And I'm just. Yeah, that, that type of stuff I just don't get. But. You remember the thing with the thing, right? There like, as far as the guns, yeah, I understand that, but the sparrow stuff, yeah, I don't know. Or, or like the emotes. I saw the fucking same emote that I was using in the first one in the second one. It's there. So why can't I have them? Because you didn't order the deluxe edition. Mm. That's why. Duh. Eat a dick, Destiny. So, hashtag fuck Destiny and hashtag eat a dick. Destiny. Destiny. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well... Yeah. You can't just eat that's going. That's kind of an all around. We're going full on. circle now at the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> so, <that's, laughs> but you know, to each their own. Like you know, we we'll, we will get more information at E3 in the next few weeks at this more like the Sony press conference. That's our take so far on the Destiny 2 reveal trailers. Please let us know in the comments below what you feel about the reveal trailers and if you're still on board with Team Destiny or. Fuck Destiny.